Hey guys, it's Gabe here from Fly in the Line. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make the damselfly tail. Now, the damselfly is a really fun fly to tie. I really like it. Um, I'm just going to be teaching you how to make the tail, and then in my next video, I'll teach you guys how to make the actual damselfly. I recommend before you make the actual damsel, before you make the actual damselfly, you make a couple damsel tails, so you can just constantly make them. So, this is what the damselfly looks like. So it looks like, and then let me grab a finished product of my of one of the tails. So this is the actual tail after it's all done. Now what I did here is I took a needle. My dad actually helped me out because it took team effort. So we took a needle, uh, like just a normal sewing needle, and we bent the end like that. And then what we do is we put our vise at like, just like straight across, and you try to center this as best as you can. Now you can use a nor vise, which is made so you can do to these ki kinds of things. But I've learned, utilized my vise to be able to do it without the nor vise. So I just loosen up my vise a little bit so it spins nice and evenly. Like that. Let me just straighten out my my thing. Needle. There we go. Okay. So what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna start out. We're gonna take this and we're gonna lick our fingers and we're just gonna put a little wetness on there. It's gonna help the dubbing stick to make our damsel tail. So I'm using a um, fine natural dubbing. Um, this is by Natru Nature's Spirit. Um, it's for the, made for the blue damsel. So I'm just going to take a big clump of it, like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have these ends out like this. See, like that. And we're going to kind of spin this. And we're just going to, it'll eventually hook on. Like, get on there. There we go, come on. There we go. You gotta try, try and kind of try in a couple different directions. Sometimes you can go like this. And that'll just kind of help you get it on. And then it should start getting on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep this kind of constant thread. You're not gonna use too much dubbing and you're just gonna kind of go up and down. Kind of build this tail. And you can go all the way to the end of the needle, the actual needle part of it. So I'm just going to kind of keep building up the little tail. And you want to keep space towards where the end of the vise is because you're going to need to eventually pull this off. So I'm just going to kind of keep making that nice even tail. And this is a dry fly. The blue damsel fly. So I'm just gonna kind of keep building up that tail. And you want it kind of nice, a thick tail. Okay, I'm kind of getting close to the end of my dubbing. I gotta, you don't want to end it in a clump. So okay, now that my dubbing sort of ended. I'm just gonna pinch it, and I'm just gonna kind of slide my fingers up and down. That's just gonna flatten out all those loose hairs. Then I'm continuing, t continually spinning my vise. Keep it nice and spun. There we go. I'm gonna grab another clump. Like that. And what you can also do to make it go quicker is you can go like this, and you can have it spread out, and then watch. It'll start to collect like that. Now I learned this how to do this fly from uh, the Norvice YouTube page, YouTube channel. He's a really he ties some really cool flies with his Norvice. I really like the way they look, and they're 
pretty cool looking. I like them. And I learned this from his, his name's Norman, I think. He's a very cool. His his YouTube channel is very cool. So this ta this tail's kind of getting lumpy from some of the ending some of the pieces. So I'm just gonna kind of run my finger along it, along it and try to flatten it out as much as I can. Okay, now oh, this is gonna be the final piece of dubbing. Hopefully, that'll actually just even out the line. So I'm just gonna kind of pull it in right there, even it out in the front. I'm gonna try and keep. Gonna kind of build up the end. Okay. Um. No, it's it's almost about good. Let me just get that in there, up in the front, kind of pull it up in the front, there we go, so that is pretty even. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, actually, wait real quick, I'm going to just kind of flatten this down. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a Sharpie, just a normal Sharpie. Any permanent marker will work well. You don't want too big of a tip on it. You want it about like that big, maybe even smaller if you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it into three sections. So a small little tip, two big, bigger sections right here, and then three small little lines. And that's the actual pattern when I looked. I, my dad did some research and he found that that's how the actual damselflies look. And so the damselfly tails. And so that's how I've, we've been making our flies. Some people just do like four straight lines. I like to do it this way. So I'm gonna make that first little bit. You don't want to go the opposite way because then it'll go against the way your dubbing is going. Okay, if that's my first section, and now I'm gonna build up my second section. My sharpie's kind of dying on me here. I'm gonna grab. I have another one. I gotta find it. Oh, be right back. I just gotta go grab it. Okay. I got my newer Sharpie that I usually use. Okay. There we go. I kind of touch back up on the little tip. Okay. Uh, build another section. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to do it perfect because nothing in nature is perfect. So I'm build my another one of my first little band. My second little band. And my third little band. And that's how it's gonna look. Now, before I put some water-based head cement finish, I'm just gonna kind of blow on this to let it dry. Because you don't, if it's not dried, then it's gonna be super hard to pull off, and the glue will like spread all the ink, and it looks really bad.
And the way to check if it's dried is you just run your fingers on it like you did before, and, it and if it doesn't leave any wa any marks, then it should be dried. Yeah, dried. Fingers are clean. Sweet. Okay, now we're going to take some Loon water-based head finish. Um, now, the reason you don't use a normal like head cement like Sally Hansen um, is because you it will it's oil based and so this is oil also oil based so it'll combine and it'll spread and when you put it in the water but this the water head cement is more fine in a sense it's hard to describe but it's a lot cleaner and um, I just like the look of it better personally um, and so I'm gonna do is gonna open it up. You're gonna open up the head finish. You're gonna kind of wipe up, some, wipe off some of that glue, extra glue. Then you're gonna kind of take your uh, applicator and you'll kind of spin it along like that. You can also do that because then the glue will kind of drip down, and you can kind of glob it on there, which is nice. It's not exact precision. So I'm going to take a little bit more, kind of glob a little bit more on there. Now this is kind of just to hold that tail together because if it, then, then when a fish grabs it, if it's not hold, held together, then it won't hold. So that's all that glue on there, that's good. Now you don't want to wait too long, you want to put your cap back on, you're going to kind of pinch it to get all that kind of extra glue out. Then you're going to take the pitch the pinch the end super hard and you're going to pop it off. Then you're going to kind of stretch out your tail a little bit, not too much because you don't want to break it. Then you could take a towel or something if you wanted and kind of squeeze it. Um, I'm just going to kind of squeeze it together. Get all that extra glue out. And that is what it looks like after it's done. Then it's going to take about, I don't know, it really depends. Um, it's usually taking about 30 minutes for it to dry. Um, and then you can tie them. That's why I'm recommended to tie a bunch of them so you don't have to tie a tail every time you tie a fly, a tie a damsel. So that is how the blue damsel, how you make a blue damsel fly tail. This is the finished product after it's been dried. It's the finished product. And um, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also check out Norman's webpage. Uh, his um, YouTube page. Just go search up Norvice on YouTube. And he should, you can find his videos on there too. Um, and I should say shout out Norman. Thank you Norman for, t for putting that fly on YouTube. It's very cool. Um, and also please like and subscribe to my videos and check out my blog, flyinthelineblog.wordpress.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and please have a great day.